We live in a small world. There's all sorts of cool things out there in the universe. Today's video is on the top 5 incredible telescope finds. Number 5. The Royal Astronomical Society of Canada is the largest astronomy club in the country. On December 2011, while looking at the moon through a telescope, they captured something pretty amazing. Look closely. If you missed it, we'll replay it again now. As you can see, a very fast object comes into view for just a second. This was actually the International Space Station coming in between the moon and the telescope. Very cool. In 2016, space enthusiast Garrett Gunbuer was observing Jupiter with his Newton telescope when he observed something quite intriguing. As you can see, it looks like some sort of asteroid or comet collided into the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. This created a large plume of debris. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Its large mass often attracts large asteroid impact events, but it's rare that such an event is caught on video. A few years prior to this, in 2012, another impact event was caught on camera by an amateur astronomer. This one is only a picture, not a video, but you can see the similarities. You may not have known this, but sometimes entire galaxies can collide into one another. Take a look. This was shot by the Hubble telescope in 2014. It shows two spiral galaxies, NGC 2207 and IC 2163 colliding into one another. Over billions of years, they will slowly pull each other apart until only one remains. It is survival of the fittest at a galactic scale. Astronomers predict, however, that NGC 2207 will likely be the surviving galaxy, since it's slightly larger than the other one. According to NASA, when two galaxies collide, the stars inside them usually do not collide themselves. This is because the space in between the stars is so incredibly vast. Therefore, most of the billions of stars in each galaxy will survive like nothing has happened. The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant of an ancient solar system. Its appearance is very interesting. Let's take a look. Crab Nebula was first observed by Chinese astronomers around a thousand years ago. At that time, the supernova explosion was brighter than it is today and could be seen by the naked eye. Today, however, you really need a telescope to see it clearly. The image here was taken by the Hubble telescope just a few years ago. At the center of the nebula sits a neutron star, which caused the massive explosion as it died. The explosion was so large that even today, a thousand years later, the explosion is still expanding at a rate of 1500 kilometers per second. That's half of 1% of the speed of light. We need not worry, however, since the Crab Nebula is located 6500 light years away from Earth. In 2002, the astronomical community was awestruck by one of the most amazing images ever taken by a telescope. What we're looking at here is the Cone Nebula, but many people refer to it as the Jesus Nebula for obvious reasons. This nebula was initially discovered in 1785 by William Herschel, but no one knew what the nebula looked like until today. The nebula consists of cold molecular hydrogen and dust. It is situated in front of another emission nebula, containing ionized hydrogen monocerotos. The combination makes for a stunning image. Some of the plumes of molecules look like figures or gods. The cone nebula is located around 2700 light years from Earth. It's quite easy to see with a telescope due to its size and brightness.
check out my previous video on the top 5 most Earth-like planets. And in the meantime, subscribe for more.